Using table maintenance options in PHP MyAdmin. This tutorial will show you how to use the table maintenance options in PHP MyAdmin. For this tutorial, we are connected to PHP MyAdmin using the root MySQL user. When connecting as another user, some options may be disabled, dependent on the server's configuration and the specific privileges granted to the user by the system administrator. On systems configured to use Plesk, the master MySQL user is the admin user instead of root. On Linux-based systems, database names, database users, table names, and column names are case-sensitive, whereas on Windows-based systems, these names are case-insensitive. First, let's select a database. Click the database name. Other users will only see and be able to access databases that they have been given the privileges to access. Many systems are configured with control panel software installed used to delegate the administration of the accounts on the server. Whenever possible, it is recommended that you use the controls within the control panel itself for certain tasks, such as the creation of databases, creation of users, management of user privileges, etc., instead of PHP MyAdmin. Performing these tasks outside of the control panel can produce undesirable results in the operation of the control panel software. Now let's select a table. Click the table name. Click the Operations tab. Here are the options available for this table. Not all table types have the same options. For instance, the Repair option is only available for My ISAM tables. First, let's check the table for errors. Click the Check Table link. Click the Operations tab. Next, let's analyze the table. Click the Analyze Table link. Click the Operations tab. Next, let's use the Repair Utility. Click the Repair Table link. Click the Operations tab. Sometimes a table can be optimized to improve performance. It will reclaim empty space that was previously occupied by data in variable length data types. Click the Optimize Table link. Click the Operations tab. You can also flush the table. This will clear and reload any information related to the table from various internal caches in MySQL. Click the Flush the Table link. Finally, let's look at how to apply many of these options to multiple tables at once. Click the database name. Check the checkboxes next to the tables, then 
select the option to use. Congratulations, you now know how to use the table maintenance options in PHP MyAdmin.